Hello there and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are tying a pattern which is called black and blue. It's a salmon pattern which is supposed to work pretty well when it comes to like a harsh conditions like bright weather and yeah, well not harsh but sensitive conditions. So the thread I'm using is an 80 uni 72 denier and uh, <clears throat> you of course start by attaching the thread to the shank and I'm using a traditional double RX hook for this. It's a size uh, it's an 8 size. And we are using as well a uh, uni uh, oval gold for the uh, butt of the fly and uh, the black and blue is here it's a beautiful salmon fly and uh, you'll see that when we are finished with it but we start by making the butt of the fly just like this fast forwarding a little not cheating just making the video a bit a bit shorter for you guys then we take it like this go under the hook with the uh, oval colt and wrap it forward like this and then we'll trim off the end and we can use this uh, oval colt again to make the rip of the fly because that has the same thing it has an oval colt and it will be the same it will be the same thing so next step is to get the thread back to the uh, back to the butt of the fly and we are using a golden fasten as a tail of the fly and we are using the yellow feather and see this this reminds you of somebody maybe in the white house or who was in the white house and it's going and it's lost the elections but doesn't matter <clears throat> we'll take up one feather of that and just attach it lightly on the shank like this then you can adjust it and drag it into the like the length you prefer and this is the length i prefer on the uh, for the tail of the fly then you snip off the tag end right there and for the body of the fly we are using flats flat uh, tinsel uh, it's a gold no it's not a gold it's a silver tinsel we use for the flat body it actually has uh, both gold and silver sides on it it's a nice product by uni and we use that for the body material and then we use the rest of the oval gold to make the rib somebody could say why didn't i use the gold like directly not cutting it but i prefer to cut it it gets to the body a little bit bulkier and there's nothing wrong with it to do it like this then we attach the uh, flat tinsel so the golden side of the tinsel faces up and that way when you start to wrap it around and create the body you let the silver side of it stay out so the golden side goes under We got it, cut it with our our uh, thread. Next step is the wing, and we have to measure out. It's a black squirrel. The kind of measure out the uh, length of the wing which we prefer. When you cut, <coughs> cut it, and uh, and 
just uh, we prepared the wing and we cut off the uh, cut off the uh, silver tinsel and when we do the rip of the fly before we attach the wing and there is a hackle on the fly as well which you are going to place which is a blue hackle I'm using a rather dark tone for it I prefer that and then we can snip off this end of the oval gold and you have to build up like a yeah like a little part for the uh, for the wing the wing is as i said it's a black squirrel and uh, it's a veneer product it's nice you know it's uh, <clears throat> not too expensive from a tying store and it's a good choice for a wing. Uh, I prepare the wing like this. I, I cut it, I take the under fur away and I wet just the tip of the uh, uh, of the uh, wing with the head cement. This is just a, yeah, just cutting the just like a millimeter out of there just to get it in the angle I prefer but maybe not necessary. <clears throat> then we prepare the, like we say, the hackle. And as you know, the fly is called black and blue. The hackle is, of course, blue. And the hackle is, uh, yeah, it's like not too large feather. I don't like to overdress salmon flies. It seems to be like an unprofessional kind of look and stuff. Not that I'm saying that my flies are professional, not at all. But that's what, that's what I was taught when I was learning to tie. And we can snip off this end of the feather. And I figured out just when I'm editing the video, like my shirt, my t-shirt is blue and the, and the hackle is blue. So I'm like, ah, the feather kind of merges with the t-shirt. But <clears throat> we start with the feather there, like in the back. I trim or, or just rip off some fibers at the end because we use a hackle plier for it. Definitely, it's way easier for uh, everybody. And we get the thread like a little bit further in the front. And then we do the hackle. So we wrap the hackle in the same direction like the thread. And we try to stroke the fibers of the hackle backwards. It's like it's going to make the job easier uh, when we tune the hackle at the end when we when we are done with the uh, feather. So it's, uh, it's done on purpose. And we are using all the feather for it, of course. And then we are there in place. We lock the uh, stem of the feather, get the hackle pliers out and do not loose grip on the uh, or, or tension on the bobbin then we do a few like tight wraps a couple of tight wraps then we trim off the stem of the feather like the leftover and there you have the hackle it's a blue beautiful hackle and, uh, and we need to stroke it like back and uh, build up like a hat in front of that and then we'll like form the head of the fly. We are not trying, of course, not to make it too bulky. And then we snip like those tiny, there's like a couple of fibers there, which I'm not satisfied with to have. And uh, something like that. And then we can build up like a head on the fly. Not, like I said, not too bulky, not at all but to kind of close in the fibers and then to do the uh, we're finishing job on the fly and then uh, and then we'll be doing the uh, paint job or, or applying the war warnish to the fly so we do a couple of whip finisher whip finishing knots on it those should really hold it then we just snip the thread off and do the paint work like we call it 
And as you see, it has like a little darker tone. You can actually use a little lighter color feather for the hackle, but I would say this fly is not overdressed at all. This looks pretty good and it's definitely going to catch you some fish. In the meantime, when we um, when we do the uh, paint job or place the warnings on the hat, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, say to you just to remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and let some some people know about about it because we will be concentrating on Icelandic fly patterns, and the channel should be like a gateway for foreigners into Icelandic fly tying patterns and culture. So until the next video, you got the black and blue fly there. So it's ready and in the next video, I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.